Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm gonna be showing you how to make Claude fluent in any language. If you know anything about Claude, you'll know that one of its biggest struggles is writing in another language. German is particularly a problem. Any language that's not English, it seems Claude doesn't do very well with. However, we were discussing things in the training and we were specifically trying to make a prompt that would write in different languages properly. And we basically think that we've cracked it. So previously what you'd do is you'd say write in German, okay? And then you'd give it the big prompt, okay? Which the output of that was terrible, okay? I have people who from Germany who have told me that, you know, it doesn't even read. Like the, It's not just that they use the wrong word occasionally. It, you can't even read the sentence if you do it like this. However, what we came up with was this method right here. Now you might know what this is. D-E-D-E uh, -D -E means German, German. And it's an, it's an href language tag. And it seems, okay, which is super interesting, that Claude picks up much better on languages when you instruct it to do the following two things. First of all, to create an article written in fluent grade seven level German or grade seven, grade seven level. This is the first part. If you don't know, grade seven is, I think, maybe nine to 10 years old, which most people on the internet, to be honest with you, they don't want to read super complicated language. They just want to read something nice and simple, especially on blogs. So actually, grade seven level is going to help your SEO anyway, because it's simpler. People are more likely to read simple content. Most people, like I said, don't really like long, complicated content. Then the second part of this is that instead of saying German here, which is what we were doing previously, because obviously it's the logical thing, right? You don't, you just assume this will be fine. It actually seems that doing D-E-D-E -D -E like this is significantly better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna get rid of this first part, where it says, I'm just gonna say create an article written in fluent grade seven level. I'm gonna put it, it, because I actually speak Italian, so I might have some insights on whether the uh, language is good or not. I'm going to get rid of this as well because uh, I'm not giving it any categories. I'm just going to say um, write about, no, uh, create an article about uh, men's uh, Neapolitan suit in 2024. And I'll hit enter here and we'll have a quick look at the, um, at the Italian. I'm not that good at Italian. I can speak Italian very well. I can't really read, well, I can't really write in Italian, so I don't even know if the spelling is correct. But let's have a little look. So completi um, is actually not a good word for suit. Uh, it should be abiti or abito, but they do say completi as well. Uh, more for women's, I believe, than men's. And I did say... I'm very sorry. It's okay. Probably thought we were at the pub. <laughs> let's just, let's finish this and then we'll talk about the pub. It's actually a word that's more associated with uh, women's suits, I believe. Um, but to be honest with you, the Italian here seems fine. I'm gonna send this to uh, Susanna afterwards and she can tell me that I was wrong and that the Italian was terrible. But it, to me, it looks completely fine. And this is kind of a way to make it right in a much more fluent and native style, okay? This works very well with German and Portuguese. They're the two languages that we've tested with native speakers. We have German speakers and we have Portuguese speakers in the training. And they have, you know, they basically said that this is 95% of the way there. If that's true, this is a massive improvement as to what we, we were doing before. Basically, we had a huge problem with a client a few months back where I translated 4 million words into broken German, broken Dutch, broken French, and broken Spanish, I think it was. So if I'd known this at the time, it would have been a big help. I think the reason is, is that, you know, it's an LLM and it just responds better to computer language because it is a computer. So the, the use of DE or it, it, which is Italian, actually informs it in a much better way. The other thing is the grade seven level fluent. That's also extremely important. This tiny little bit, of writing here 
may change the game for people who are trying to write in other languages. So I will just quickly shout out the training if you wanna join the training. It's on incomestreamsurfers.com slash live training. We're really, really happy with how things are going in the training. We have a really, really strong, close-knit community. I never thought I'd have a training, honestly. I made my YouTube channel to be against trainings. However, you know, $7 for one training session is nothing, and the amount that we're giving away in there is a lot. It's also just a way to chat with me and other people in real time, um, and we're really, really happy with how things are going. So if you want to join the training, please feel free. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.